here today is actually a miracle in integrative medicine. Good evening, everyone. It's really indeed an honor and a great pleasure for me to be invited here tonight to share with you on the miracle and goodness of integrative medicine. What are our dreams in life? Most of us, is it, it is to be successful in life. To be successful in life, some of us means to climb up the corporate ladder, to build a successful business, to give the best to our families, good, good house, good education for our children, so that they can have a good start in life. We work so, so hard in order to provide for our families and also to ensure that we have enough savings for our retirement. Many of us fail to really look into the well-being of our very own bodies until sickness and illness strikes us. I am one of them. Let me share with you my story. Before that, first and foremost, I would like to give praise and honor to the almighty and loving God who has created me for giving me the grace of a new lease of life again, made possible through the many wonderful people that he has brought into my life. And for this amazing medical device that has brought restoration of my body to good health again. I would like to honor each and every member of my family for being the pillar of my strength in my journey to recovery. To the many good friends and doctors, and most of all, I would like to mention two very special people. My angel, Christy, who introduced me to this amazing medical device. And to Mr. K. G. Lin, the CEO of Ventros, who really helped me to the journey of recovery. May God bless all of you who have journeyed with me. Thank you so much. That's my family here. And um, they all meant a lot to me. They have really been a pillar for support for me. And, um, you know, it's every parent's dream to see that we grow old with our children, that we will be able to see our grandchildren and maybe great-grandchildren too. I'll share with you my journey. In 2013, at the end of 2013, I discovered that I actually had cancer. It was a nightmare for me. And I questioned, why me? Why does this happen to me? Well, I can't blame anyone. It's because I have not taken care of my health. I was actually diagnosed with third end stage cancer. The doctors say it's third end stage, maybe to make me happy. I actually had three surgeons operating on me, the colorectal surgeon, the gynecologist, and the vascular surgeon. It was a nine-hour operation. Some of my organs went off, my ovaries, the womb was taken off, um, about 12 inches of my lower colon was taken off, and also um, 24 lymph nodes that was attached to the main arteries that lead to the heart 
uh, were slice of the main arteries and while doing because it was a very delicate operation the cancerous um, infected lean um, nodes was actually um, stuck to the arteries and they had to really carefully slice it off out of the 24 lean nodes that were sliced off 21 was infected I was in the ICU for about five days and you can see from the picture that I had tubes all over my body. It was actually the longest day in my life. It's not really nice to be in the ICU. And um, so sometime in uh, after my operation, when I was better, I went to seek a few oncologists. I even went down to Singapore to seek opinion as to what treatment I should do. Prognosis for me from all the doctors was very not good. And in fact, I should not be alive today. But I'm still alive today because of the grace of God and because I believe that this fantastic medical device has brought back good health to me again. I've seen Engine it with a number of people that had cancer and they have already, they have, um, they have gone back to the creator. And, um, getting cancer is not a very nice thing. It is, you do not know what lies ahead, what is tomorrow. And my wish is actually to see my children get married and have their family and see grandchildren too and today i'm most fortunate to have a grandchild to have a grandchild you can see it from the picture and for me i love traveling a lot and um it gives me the opportunity to right now you know that i i can travel but of course not now during this COVID pandemic. Um, after um, in, sometime in February, I actually um, had chemotherapy. It was a six-cycle chemotherapy. On the first day, I would check into the hospital and do an intravenous uh, chemotherapy, which would last almost half a day, the whole day, you know, and I would return back at night. And um, and the next 14 days, I would be on oral chemo three times a day. I would stop chemotherapy for a week and continue on again. And after the chemotherapy, I had actually 30 days of radiotherapy. The radiotherapy is actually focused at the, at the rear end of my body in that sense where the anus is. Um, it is there that they, they did the radiotherapy and this really affected, uh, it dries up my vagina, it dries up everything at the bottom that it really like cooks and dries up and it's not really a good feeling. And because of this, I actually could not control my bowels. I would rush off to the toilet at least 17, I counted minimum is 17 times a day. Maximum is 20 to 30 times a day. And I find, you know, I can't even like, go to anywhere very far because I would need to rush to the toilet. Um, it also, I find it, I have also the difficulty in controlling my urine. It's not a good feeling. And uh, because of the chemotherapy, the severe chemotherapy that kills all the good cells and the bad cells in the body, 
it also affects the vital organs in my body. And as a result of that, I actually lost the feelings of my feet. When I walk, I cannot feel the crown at all. And of course, my hands too is always numb because the nerves, most of the nerve in the body um, is malfunctioning or have died off. So, um, sometime in the year 2017, my very good friend Christy actually she was very excited when she saw me and she said, Come, Angela, I want to bring you to listen to something really fantastic. And she says it, she thinks it will help me. I went over to the Ventros office and at, at that time I remember it was one of the directors that did the new full capillary test for me. And he asked me, Am I on chemo drugs? He doesn't know me. And I said, yes, I had chemotherapy before. And he says, you know, he can hardly see my capillaries, which is true. The, uh, the hospital can't even draw blood out of me because of the chemotherapy. It has all shrunk and hardened uh, the vessels and the capillaries that I have. And while he was explaining on the integrative medical laser, I was doing the therapy. And guess what? I fell asleep when <laughs> he was doing the presentation. It was actually you, the integrative medical laser that was actually, that puts me to rest, to deep rest, so that my body can start healing itself. I... I left the office and I, I told Christy, Christy, I'm so afraid um, to use this because as cancer survivors, we are really so afraid to use anything that we do not know. I started on a journey of doing a lot of research. I asked doctor friends, specialists, most of them do not know about this, um, about the study of um, the low level light laser. A fraction of them says, yeah, they have heard of it. Um, and I went into research papers. The second time when I went to Ventros, to the Ventros office, uh, Christy actually arranged for Mr. K. G. Lim, the CEO of Ventros, to do the presentation, the explanation of this wonderful medical device, the scientific um, explanation behind this uh, device. I, when I listened very thoroughly, you know, carefully to him, and at the end of the presentation, I asked Mr. Lin, Mr. Lin, what shall I do? I'm so afraid. And Mr. Kajilin said, Angela, just use it. It will help you. I really clang on his words that it, this medical device would really help me. It is, after all, non-invasive. It's only using light to do, to let our body heal itself. And after using the medical device, for just three weeks, I was telling Simon, hey, I can now feel my toes when I'm walking. I can feel the ground. It's such a good feeling. And eventually, um, I do not get the numbness anymore in my hands. I do not get tired anymore on my feet because... Um, most of the time, I can't sit too long because the blood would not just flow down and I have to stand up. And um, and those feelings just disappeared. Um, my 
because of the condition of my um, my prognosis, I actually went on medical leave for one year. I stopped working for one year because I have to always rush to the toilet and I can't go for meetings and I can't, you know, really drive to. And uh, I thank God that I got better and I quit. I actually quit my job. And um, I actually quit my job and uh, every three months I have to go and see uh, the doctor, both my oncologist as well as my surgeon and they would do a thorough check on me, blood tests and sometimes um, to do the scans to check that everything is right in my body and my Cancer, all the um, cancer markers in bo my body is very, very low and it's even lower than any ordinary people. And for my CAE cancer marker, it is 0 0.8. Ordinary persons would be 5. So this is really, truly fantastic. And um, my last medical uh, checkup was almost about two years ago. Now I have to go back and see my doctors, but I still do my blood test every three months. Um, my During my last medical checkup, my surgeon told me, congratulations, Angela. Everything is so well in your body that he would not be seeing me for the next two years. So in this January, I'll go back and do a review and do a colonoscopy again. So it is actually this integrative medicine, the cold laser medical device that has actually helped me and I would like to share a bit on why it has helped me, uh, why it has brought healing to my body, or rather, let letting my body heal itself without taking any medication. The cold labor technology, the IM laser, it actually has low level therapy which uses non-invasive light source treatment to stimulate production of ATP, ROS, and nitric oxide in the body through photobiomodulation. And you have the ancient Chinese acupuncture, which is non-invasive acupuncture to the 361 meridian points in the body. And we also have the magnetic therapy that helps in pain management and it also enhances the blood flow. Cancer cells are very afraid of oxygen and fast blood flow and so they would not thrive in this condition. One of the very important components of one of the very important chemicals that the low-level laser therapy will help our mitochondria in our cells to produce is the adenosine triphosphate, which is actually the cell energy. The process of ATP production determines the level of cell repair in the body the cell regeneration, and the cell bioavailability, assisting and maintaining total cells balance. And that's how, because of the increased ATP that my body is producing, it helps me heal itself. Another important chemical that we need in our body that is produced by our microchondria 
is the nitric oxide. As I was sharing that because of the chemotherapy, it really affected a lot of my vital organs in the body. And so I believe that it is still healing my body. And um, nitric oxide is very important for the cardiovascular system. It opens the blood vessels um, and our blood cell health depends on it. And it also is in the nutrient exchange for the cells. Um, it also looks after the respiratory tract, the metabolism, cell prolifer proliferation. It reduces cell death and it encourages new blood cells to form. And it is also it also helps in immunology, so it regulates our immune system. And for the peripheral nervous system, it promotes the promotion of body's natural rest state. When we sleep at night, it actually helps us to sleep properly. And the central nervous system, it helps in the pain management and also it regulates our blood pressure. And it also looks after our gastrointestinal tract. It en enhances metabolism and also for the new, uh, it's important for the nutritional absorption in our body. And also, Nitric oxide is also very important for sexual health, for the male performance as well as female performance. I would like to play this video for you. It really tells about the importance of nitric oxide. Can he? I'm being milk. Oh. 
Pulses on you. One second. Yeah. Can you know? Can you hear now? Can I? Um, I think we go on. Can I just? In a young, healthy person, they have good blood flow, good circulation. There's no plaque built in. The arteries are flexible and pliable, not rigid or stiff. The heart functions normally. But as people age, nitric oxide production decreases, and the consequences are severe. Arteries become stiffer, more narrow, constricted, and plaque builds up. Circulation and blood flow decreases, limiting oxygen and nutrient delivery to every cell in the body. Blood pressure and fatigue increase. Sexual function decreases. Normal stem cell functions are lost. Inflammation increases. Cognition and memory decreases, increasing the risk of Alzheimer's. Basically, every function in the body works less efficiently. But technology exists to reverse these effects, to restore and repair normal nitric oxide production, and provide the best outcome as you age. By choosing to restore nitric oxide production, arteries become healthier, plaque in the lining of the blood vessel is removed. Your circulation improves. Heart function improves. Blood pressure normalizes. Sexual function improves. Normal stem cell functions are restored. Cognitive abilities improve. Everything works better. In order to restore and fix the underlying problem of nitric oxide deficiency, you must first understand how the body makes nitric oxide. There's two ways the body makes nitric oxide. One is through the utilization of L-arginine through the enzyme nitric oxide synthase. But the older we get, and based on lifestyle conditions, this enzyme becomes dysfunctional. So over time, we make less nitric oxide through the nitric oxide synthase enzyme. And in this case, giving more L-arginine does not create more nitric oxide. The other pathway is dependent upon diet and the conversion of nitrate to nitrite to nitric oxide. In the mouth, nitrate is converted to nitrite by natural good bacteria. When saliva is swallowed, the acid in your stomach converts nitrite to nitric oxide. However, when people use medications like antacids, the nitrite to nitric oxide conversion is completely shut down. And when people use mouthwash, antiseptics, and antibiotics, the bacteria is killed shutting down the nitrate to nitrite conversion. Proton pump inhibitors shut down this conversion too but they also decrease nitric oxide production from the nitric oxide synthase enzyme, the large name, the production of an inhibitor called ADMA. 
In other words, in addition to the natural decreases that your body would see as you age, most of the people in America have this pathway of nitric oxide production completely shut down. So the challenge has always been, how do you fix the nitric oxide problem? If your body can't make nitric oxide, you need product technology to do it for you. And you need to restore and repair the ability to make nitric oxide naturally in the body. There is technology to fix the dysfunctional nitric oxide synthase enzyme. In fact, it recouples the enzyme and makes the body's ability to generate nitric oxide in the lining of the blood vessel better from L-arginine. You need product technology to restore steady state concentrations of nitrite and the ability to produce nitric oxide from nitrite that's independent from stomach acid production. In short, you can overcome the loss of nitric oxide production with age and the use of antiseptics, mouthwash, antibiotics, proton pump inhibitors, and other lifestyle choices that shut down nitric oxide production. Nitrate products such as beetroot or green food supplements typically don't work. Most people lack the bacteria and the functional pathway to create nitric oxide from nitrate. L-arginine products don't work because without fixing how the enzyme couples, more L-arginine won't create more nitric oxide. It will create more oxidative stress with even further consequences reducing nitric oxide production, causing further damage to the body. It's important to understand how the body makes nitric oxide and how lifestyle, daily practices, and drug therapy can interrupt nitric oxide production and put your body at risk for the many diseases characterized by the loss of nitric oxide. After all, how can you correct something if you don't know the cause? By eliminating practices that disrupt nitric oxide production and or using products that have been shown in clinical trials to restore nitric oxide production, you can help ensure your body has what it needs to generate this critical molecule. Nitric oxide biochemistry is complex, even for experts in the field. With nearly two decades of research, hundreds of publications, I know nitric oxide. We, the scientific community, know how the body makes it. We know what goes wrong in people that can't make nitric oxide. And most importantly, we now know how to fix the underlying problems and restore nitric oxide production. Once you fix these nitric oxide production pathways, it leads to better cardiovascular health and once you restore the delivery of oxygen and nutrients to all cells in the body, everything works better. The answer is actually the integrative medical laser that we have that would help the body to produce the nitric oxide that we need. Uh, this is a, if you look at this picture here, if you look at it, at the age of when we are in the 20s, the, ni the production of nitric oxide in our body is 100%. When we reach the age of 50, our body only produces about 35% of the nitric oxide that is needed. And by the time we reach 60 years and above, it is about 15% or less than that. And this is a worrying part. And in our 60s, the aging process partly reflecting the withstanding move of more than 100,000 heartbeats a day contributes to the attack on the lining of the arteries. If left unchecked, plagues can rupture or erode, leading to blood clots that can cause heart attack. While an overwork or scarred heart increases the risk of heart failure. If you look at people around us these days, there are so many people, even young people, as young as 20, in the 20s, they would just collapse. Why? Because the body do not produce enough nitric oxide. So the answer actually, if you're worried about clogged arteries, about not just having, um, not for heart health alone, but for the whole body, we really need nitric oxide. 
And for us who have been using the I am laser, this is the answer to good health. I would like to share my mother's story. Uh, sometime in November 2018, she actually had stroke. Early in the morning, my maid came rushing to our bedroom and asked and told us, Mama, ma Mama tidak boleh cakap. And so I rushed down to look at my mother. I tried actually to take um, her blood pressure, but it, it couldn't read at all. She could not talk and she could not even lift up her hands. And she, um, what Simon did was he immediately took the IM laser and put it on her four bars at her risk and we called the ambulance. Just about 15 minutes after putting on the IM laser on her, she was able to talk again. She was able to lift up her hand. So the ambulance, we rush her, when the ambulance arrived, we rush her to the hospital. She was still wearing the IM laser, um, but when we went to the emergency department in the hospital, they took off the, the IM laser and sent her for a quick CT scan. My mom was the in was in the intensive care unit, and the professor, the doctor in charge, the specialist in charge of her, told me that since my mom has got dementia, she is a dementia patient. I should not expect uh, much from recovery for my mother. That my mother. Because her brain has shrunk, she would not be able to walk and healing will not take place so fast. I actually brought in the IM laser and use it on her many times a day as, as much as I can. And um, I will put it at her navel, um, at her wrist, and also um, shined the light at her forehead. My mom, my mom, um, like what the doctors say, she would not be able to walk. But I'll show you when I did the laser therapy on her. See there. She's wearing stocking. That is the part that is actually affected by the stroke. Huh? And she's able to lift up her legs. Oh, good. Very good. The other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the hands too. Eight. Her recovery was so fast. I then, I then actually moved my mom to the rehabilitation center to make sure that she's able to walk before coming home. And she was actually in the hospital for a month. On the first day when they brought her to the physiotherapy room to do physiotherapy on her, my mom actually walked back to the ward. And the nurses were very excited and they called the doctors and said, Dr. Doctor, you know, see, she is walking. And so they were actually clapping when my mom walked back to her bed. And uh, of course, it was aided, but she was able to walk. And um, for me, I really have great trust in this integrative medical laser in this medical device and i know it will heal my mom and today my mom she's back almost normal 
because of the dementia, sometimes she would have mood swings, but she's able to walk, she's able to eat, she's able to do, you know, to even to go out. So nothing is impossible with this medical device. I would like to share with you Auntie Jane's story. Auntie Jane, when she was in Trungano, she had a stroke and they rushed her to a private hospital. The, the private hospital rejected her and brought the ambulance to the general hospital in Kuala Trungano. Uh, she had a bleeding stroke. She also had a lung infection in her lungs and she was in coma. My friend in my friend called me up and asked me for help and I flew in to Kuala Trungano on the second day. I brought two medical laser with me, the medical device with me and Auntie Chain actually when she was in the general hospital, the ICU wards was full. The first class wards was full. She was just put in the normal general medical ward. I went there with two medical devices and I placed one at her navel and the other one um, at her hand and also shining at her forehead. I did this, we did this therapy for about six times and uh, on the first day and we we actually did the um, I actually did the therapy for her six times on the first day and the second day I continued again I actually had to pretend to be her daughter and I told uh, the specialist I'm going to take my mother out and uh, my mother that is Auntie Jane out and the specialist told me that she is in a very critical condition and life threatening too. There was not, we could not get any ambulance service from Kuala Trungano. So I had to bring, uh, I had to order an ambulance from Johor Bahru with a trauma doctor that does international evacuation service. When the, just before the ambulance arrived, Auntie Jane woke up. She, she could move her hands and her legs that was, you know, uh, half paralyzed. She could move them and she could look around. The doctors actually in Trungano told me that even if she wakes up, she would not be able to see because of the bleeding stroke, she would be blind. We finally brought Auntie Jane back to Kuala Lumpur, uh, to Sunway Medical Hospital and got the medical team there ready when she arrived. We left, she left Kuala Trungano at 7 p.m. that night and arrived at the hospital in Sunway for 11.20. For me, I was still in Kuala Trungano and I have to fly back to KL. The next day, when, the next day when I went to visit Auntie Jane at the Sunway Medical Center, at the ICU there, I was surprised to see the oxygen was taken off her, the respirator was taken off and she was there awake and smiling and she could even see me and she was very excited to see me. So as what the doctors, you know, the medical doctors say that there is no hope for her, today Auntie Jane is well. She's able to walk, though she is not as um, mobile as before, but she's able to walk. 
So, and we praise and thank God for this wonderful medical device that has brought her to good health again. The next story I would like to share is my God about my goddaughter Felicia. Felicia, when she was 17 years old, she actually contacted Mastina Gravis, which is a chronic autoimmune disorder. Medical science says there's no cure and there's no healing. It is a defect in the transmission of the nerve impulses to the muscles. In severe cases, it may lead to total paralysis, which she went into total paralysis and extreme pain. Felicia went through a lot of trial tests to keep her alive. They put her on two types of steroids and she takes about 20 steroids, 20 tablets of steroids a day. And she put on her, she put on a lot of weight. And um, Felicia actually lost her mobility for about more than a year. She would just lie down in bed and she can't even move. Her parents got to turn her and um, she would have double vision, fatigue, there's no energy at all, loss of mobility as it affects the joints and is totally paralyzed. She had difficulty chewing any food. Her joints and her jaws are all locked. Her monthly medication is about 20,000 a month. And she went through into ICU a few times. She went in 19, in 2015, she had plasma exchange. And in each plasma exchange in trying to, to see how they can help her and each treatment, each session costs 30,000. They remove her thymus gl gland in 2016. It didn't help her much. Felicia could hardly stand, um, stand up and she is always very tired. And her parents have to, her mother has to bathe her, have to dress her up. When I went to see Felicia in 2018, sometime just before Chinese New Year, I left a medical, I left the IM laser for her to use. And guess what? Her parents were so excited. Her, she regained back her mobility, her strength, she regained back her strength. She's able to walk. And before they have to, even when she has to go to the hospital, they will have to carry her or put her on the wheelchair. And the father and the parents, the mother was telling me, in just three weeks, she was already busy in the kitchen. She was able to cook she was able to help her mother to do even baking and yesterday i was talking to the father and he says that felicia is busy making cookies for christmas they have spent so much money to bring felicia back to good health they tried everything lots of chemicals lots of traditional medicine it did not help her at all. And Felicia's overall, um, just her hospital um, bills and medication is a million, more than a million ringgit. Can you imagine that? 
and it just take our amazing medical device which costs so little to bring her back to good health again you can see there felicia it is her dream she is from sarawak it is her dream to take a flight to go to penang she has heard so much about penang food and she was able to do that last year she went to penang um, walked the streets of penang tasted the good food the penang good food the cha kway tiao and she could uh, even go up to the penang hill and i think that picture there is taken at penang hill so where medical science the doctors, the specialists, they say that there is no hope for her. We found there is hope for Felicia. And the answer is this integrative medicine, the IM laser. I would like to share with you Eddie's story. Eddie has actually cellulitis and also um, he has osteoarthritis. Most of us, as we grow old, we would, in one way or another, get mild osteoarthritis. And I would, when I heard that Eddie was not well, I went, we, Simon and I, we went to visit him. He has no will to live at all. He was really miserable. When I shared with him about the amazing results that this medical device can bring, Eddie did not believe. I actually, we actually forced him to try it. And I will let Eddie tell his story. My name is Eddie. I'm 80 years old. I'm a health freak. I look after my health very well for the last 40 years. Strange enough, about nearly three years ago, I was attacked by a sickness called cellulitis. Bacterial infection on my skin. My left leg became like an elephant's leg. It was uncomfortable. The doctors tried to, to heal me. The disease came. I took very heavy antibiotics. It left me. It came back. And then, besides that, nearly six months to eight months ago, my right leg, I was attacked by this disease called osteoarthritis. That's an old man's disease. La. <coughs> One night, I got up and I couldn't walk. I was so miserable. I had to crawl to the toilet. I met my good friend Dato and Daki. I refused to talk to them. I was on a wheelchair. I was so miserable. Then Simon and Angela came to know about it. They said, come and listen to this talk. I said, get away, don't talk to me. I got no money to buy anything. I listened and when it was over, I told them I want to buy one of it. I bought it. Simon and Angela loaned me the money. Ah. Diligently followed the instruction. I sleep on it, I put all parts of my body, put on my leg. When I first came, I told Simon and Angela, I can't walk up the steps, I have to take the lid. The second time I came to this office, I tried walking up the steps. I succeeded, but I walked sideways. Wow. Today, I walk normal. With all the sickness, I have to take so much of medicine, antibiotics, painkillers, so much of painkillers. Today, today, I have stopped taking antibiotics for three months. Wow. And I am determined, I don't want any form of drug or medicine to be taken. But I have kept away from the medicines for about 80%. I tell you, there's so much of things ventros can do to help us. Once you're on ventros, you can cut off many of the medicine. Why not? Yeah, why not? Invest in ventros. And you have to be very technical when you talk to people. You have all kinds of people from the lowest to the higher. To the smart Alexis, you have to talk to them about costing because they don't believe anything good can come out of this world. 
But I tell you, Ventro is something really very good for all of us. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, the next one I would like to share about Andrew's story. Andrew has actually diplopia. It is symptoms of a person seeing double image where there should only be one. The condition can affect balance, movement, reading ability, and even cause nausea, usually caused by damage of the muscles that move the eyes or the nerve that control the eye movement can create a double vision. I will let Andrew tell his story. A couple of months ago, I just woke up with a double vision. And because of that... A couple of months ago, I just woke up with a double vision. And because of that, I find it difficult to go downstairs huh, because I have lost the depth. Uh, uh, I can't see it and uh, I can't walk on my own without help on the, even on the road because when it comes to crossing the drain, I will have problems that way. So after many days of this suffering, you know, understanding why, uh, at the insistence of my wife, uh, I put on the ventros. Uh, um, and uh, it's what we call it the nose party. Uh, at that time, I was watching the TV, and of course, very difficult. I can watch with one eye, but when I both open both my eyes, then I have problem of this uh, double vision. Surprisingly, though, and I was actually shocked by it, was in the sense that uh, when I put on that, less than 15 minutes, uh, the double vision was gone, and I thought, you know, how is that possible? Just 15 minutes. So I continued for the next 15 minutes and my vision became even clearer and after that I continued using this the next day uh, for the next few days uh, and I found out that not only the double vision gone but my sight is even clearer than before. So although I was scheduled for a cataract operation in September, I decided to postpone it to next year since I'm able to see much clearer and, I'm, and it has not restricted my driving or any other activity. So I decided to postpone the operation. And I'm still using the Ventros regularly now that it has uh, proven to me without doubt uh, that my problem of double vision uh, is solved through the usage of that uh, Ventros. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'll just like to share Jasmine and her story on eye stroke. An eye stroke is caused by obstruction, blood flow that damages the retina, usually is due to the narrowing of blood vessels or a blood clot. When the retina veins are blocked, they let leak fluid into the retina, causing swelling, which prevents oxygen from circulating and imparts one's ability to see clearly. And this, if left for a long time, may lead to blindness. Just mean she had eye stroke for one and a half years and she every month she needs to see the doctor to inject certain chemicals into her eye. And, and for each treatment, it would cost her 1,500 ringgit every month. Her brother had, had the eye stroke too. And for his injection, it cost $5,000 each time. 
nothing happens. And one of Jasmine's friends invited her to our office. She came to the office and when she was doing the therapy halfway through about 15 minutes, Jasmine told us that she could see a cloud leaving her eyes and her eyes became clear, clearer. She continued on using, she bought, she was so excited, she bought the medical device and she used it twice a day, sometimes three times a day. And during her next visit to the doctor, her eye doctor told her, Jasmine, congratulations, you are cleared off your eye stroke. So you see, what doctors have been trying to, you know, her doctor has been trying to clear her eye stroke for one and a half years and failed to do so. And with this medical device, she regained back her eyes. Praise God for that. The next one I would like to share is on Parkinson's. Uh, we need, well, uh, it's about Adam, his story. He is, he actually had Parkinson's and uh, he came over to the office and while doing the therapy, actually uh, the hand stopped shaking and he was very excited. He bought the medical device. Three weeks later, Mrs. Adam called me and I said, Yes, Mrs. Adam, what can I do for you? How is Adam? She says, I'm going to send Adam and the medical device, the Ventros, she said, back to the office. And I say, Why, Mrs. Adam? Do you know <laughs> that he is now, Adam is now chasing me around the house. Adam is 80 over. 80 years old, huh? he's chasing her around the house and becomes sexually active again. And this is all because of the nitric oxide in his body. So, you see, nothing is impossible for those who have Parkinson's and thinks that there's no hope in Parkinson's, in the past Parkinson's disease. There is hope for you. Just try the integrated medical laser. It will really, it should help in one way or another. Okay, I'll just like to, the beautiful part about the, our medical device is, it is integrative medicine. It is not, there's no chemicals. So what is integrative medicine? It's, integrative medicine is actually healing orient, oriented medicine that takes account of one of whole person, including all aspects of lifestyle. It better manages the symptoms and addresses the root cause of illness without any chemicals and if we go and use integrative medicine it actually produces long-lasting results and it really address the chronic problems that we have in the body by producing by our body producing the right chemicals to heal itself so integrative medicines treats the whole person not just the disease. Prevention versus cure. I would like to say prevention is better than cure. For those of us who think that we are healthy, well, in when we do preventive medi medicine, it is easy and the cost is just a fraction of the cost and we will have a healthy life and also a healthy family, a healthy, happy family. But when we contact, we, you know, it is when we need to seek a cure, it is not easy, it is so complex. 
and seeking cures if we have any chronic illnesses is so expensive and the future is so uncertain like in my case when i was diagnosed with cancer for science it's really difficult to find a cure but with this medical device i came back to good health again and when i was really you know receiving treatment it was really so present on the family so the integrative medical laser that we have it is actually preventive medicine as well as curative medicine our i am laser It incorporates acupuncture, which helps to open the meridian points in our body for blood flow. Photobiomodulation, which introduces more oxygen into our body, and it also helps our body to heal itself through the production of adenosine triphosphate, the reactive oxygen species, and the nitric oxide that our body needs to keep in good health. And we also have the, the other component is the med neck therapy, which enhances blood flow. So the IM laser would help us, would help to restore our cell function, cell growth, cell repair and cell absorption of nutrients. It increases our metabolism. So for those who are overweight and want to be in good shape, it increases our metabolism. It also helps in the healing process. It reduces inflammation in a body. Many of us think that we are healthy. I got cancer because of the inflammation in my body. It stimulates nerve function. When I lost the feelings, the nerve, when my nerve dies because of chemotherapy, I got back the nerve function because of this therapy. It also helps in pain management. It improves improves oxygenation of the body and it helps in bone regeneration and it is antioxidant it helps to remove the free radicals in our body so we, i would put in together the im laser plus the psr to use which will bring us to health restoration so many people ask why you know why is my healing so slow i would say please use the psr that we have to what is the psr it actually has 78 trace minerals 34 enzymes types of enzymes and 17 different types of amino acids so it helps to replenish the vital oxygen in the body to fight against acidity infection it helps in the brain function premature aging and also people who have chronic fatigue syndrome the electrolytes um, that it has helps the vital systems in the body like the brain the nerves the muscles to function and to coordinate coordinate at peak performance it also helps the body in the supply of nutrients for anti-aging anti-inflammation and to prevent premature cell death why should we use the integrative medicine laser or the integrative medical laser it is safe 
it is effective and there's no side effects. It is non-invasive. There's no current going in. It's only using light. Light that would heal the body. And um, it is approved by FDA. It's under medical device class 3R. And it is patented. The motherboard is patented in the US. It has an ISO certification of 13485, the highest quality assurance for medical device. And we have the Euro certificate, three seal in European countries. And um, there is a speed test done in Germany that it sh the speed test that it will run should run more than 10,000 hours of usage. And the wavelength is 650 nanometers light. We have the good distribution practice for medical device, certificate by the Medical Device Authority, which we have just, you know, which is awarded by the Ministry of Health. And last year in August, we were awarded the silver medal for medical device in the 47th International Exhibition in, of Inventions in Geneva. So this is a registered certified medical device. The IM laser is really a must to have in life. It is the best gift for you and your family. For me, I would really encourage each and every one of you to make a decision. If you have not owned this medical device, get one as a small investment for your family. It, will, it is a worthwhile investment. For me now, to be successful in life is to have good health. Live a healthy, purposeful, happy life. A happy, united family. To appreciate God's creation. To live life to the fullest. To love and serve. To be a beacon of love and hope to the people around us. That's why I am in this healing ministry with Ventros. Thank you. Anyone?